Have you ever pondered why our own body cells turn against us, causing a disease as grave as leukemia? This question, as complex as it is, takes us on a journey into the enigma that is leukemia. Leukemia, a word that strikes fear in the hearts of many, is a disease of the blood and bone marrow that occurs on the spectrum of cancers. It's marked by the overproduction of abnormal white blood cells, the very cells that are supposed to protect our bodies from foreign invaders. But instead of fulfilling their protective role, these cells turn rogue, proliferating uncontrollably and crowding out the healthy cells in our blood. Yet, despite its reputation, leukemia is not a single disease. It's a group of cancers, each unique in its own way, each with its own set of characteristics, and each affecting patients differently. It's as if each variant is a unique puzzle, with its own set of pieces that need to be put together to form a complete picture. But why does this happen? Why do these cells designed to protect us become our enemies? The answer lies in our DNA. When our DNA is damaged or altered, it can cause our cells to grow and divide in an uncontrolled way. And when this happens in our bone marrow, where our blood cells are produced, it can lead to the rapid production of abnormal white blood cells, setting the stage for leukemia. The impact of this disease is far-reaching. Every three minutes, someone in the United States is diagnosed with a blood cancer like leukemia. That's 20 people every hour, and nearly 500 people every day. And while we've made significant strides in understanding and treating this disease, leukemia remains a leading cause of cancer death in many parts of the world. The question remains, why does this happen? What causes leukemia? As we delve deeper into the heart of this enigma, we'll explore the potential causes, the diverse types, the symptoms to look out for, and the advancements in treatment that are changing the face of this disease. But for now, let's ponder on the paradox that is leukemia, a disease where our protectors become our enemies. The exact cause of leukemia remains unknown, yet several risk factors are linked to its development. Now, let's dive into the depths and unravel these potential causes and risk factors of leukemia. At the core of leukemia is the mutation of the DNA in our white blood cells. Sometimes this mutation can be the result of a genetic predisposition. This means that if a close family member has had leukemia, the odds of developing the disease might be slightly increased. However, most cases of leukemia are not hereditary and occur without any apparent familial link. Among other potential triggers, exposure to certain chemicals and radiation has been linked to the development of leukemia. Those who have had prolonged exposure to chemicals like benzene, which is found in gasoline and used in the chemical industry, or formaldehyde, used in manufacturing industries, might have an elevated risk. Similarly, exposure to high levels of radiation, either from a nuclear reactor accident or from undergoing radiotherapy for a different type of cancer, can also increase the risk. In addition, certain blood disorders, such as myelitis plastic syndrome, can evolve into leukemia over time. This condition, often referred to as pre-leukemia, involves the production of a high number of abnormal blood cells in the bone marrow, which can eventually turn malignant. It's also worth noting that some risk factors are beyond our control, such as age and gender. Leukemia tends to be more common in adults, particularly men, and the risk of developing the disease increases as we get older. While these factors may shed some light on the potential causes of leukemia, it's important to stress that they only increase the risk, rather than cause the disease outright. Many people with one or more of these risk factors will never develop leukemia, while others with no known risk factors will. While these factors may increase the risk, they do not guarantee the development of leukemia. This brings us to the symptoms that might indicate its presence. Leukemia often manifests through a series of seemingly unrelated symptoms. This elusive disease can present itself in myriad ways. One of the most common symptoms is fatigue. This isn't the standard tiredness that we all experience from time to time, but a persistent, pervasive exhaustion that doesn't improve with rest. Next, we have frequent infections. When leukemia cells outnumber healthy white blood cells, the body's defense system is compromised, leading to recurrent infections. Unexplained weight loss is another hallmark. This isn't due to dieting or exercise, but a sudden, unaccounted-for drop in weight. Easy bruising or bleeding is another symptom to watch for. This happens when leukemia cells crowd out platelets responsible for blood clotting. Lastly, bone pain or tenderness could be a sign. This is due to an overcrowded bone marrow, where leukemia cells are multiplying. Spotting these symptoms early can lead to a timely diagnosis, but how many types of leukemia are we dealing with? Leukemia comes in more forms than one might expect. It's not a one-size-fits-all condition, 
but rather a complex family of diseases, each with its own unique characteristics. Today we will explore the four main types, acute lymphoblastic leukemia, chronic lymphocytic leukemia, acute myeloid leukemia, and chronic myeloid leukemia. Acute lymphoblastic leukemia, often referred to as AL, is a rapid progressing type that primarily affects children. It's characterized by an overproduction of immature white blood cells, called lymphoblasts, which crowd out the healthy cells in the bone marrow. Despite its aggressive nature, all has a high cure rate in children, thanks to advances in treatment. On the other hand, chronic lymphocytic leukemia, or CLL, progresses more slowly and typically affects adults over the age of 55. It's marked by the accumulation of abnormal mature lymphocytes in the blood, bone marrow, and lymphatic tissues. Patients with CLL may live for many years without requiring treatment, as this type of leukemia often grows slowly. Next, we have acute myeloid leukemia, or AML, another rapidly progressing type. AML is distinguished by the rapid growth of myeloid cells, which impede the production of normal blood cells. While AML can occur at any age, it is most common in adults. Lastly, chronic myeloid leukemia, or CML, is a type of leukemia that typically affects adults. It's characterized by the overproduction of immature myeloid cells. Unlike the other forms, CML has a unique genetic marker, the Philadelphia chromosome, that guides its treatment. Each of these types of leukemia has its own distinct characteristics, affecting different cells, progressing at different rates, and responding to different treatments. But they all share one common trait. They disrupt the normal functioning of our blood cells and our bodies, causing a myriad of health issues. Understanding these differences is crucial, as it allows healthcare professionals to provide accurate diagnoses and effective personalized treatment plans. It's a testament to the complexity of our bodies, the intricacy of disease, and the importance of ongoing research in the field of medicine. Each type of leukemia manifests differently and requires a unique treatment approach. The fight against leukemia has witnessed significant advancements over the years. This relentless battle has been fueled by an unwavering commitment to science, innovation, and a deep-seated desire to improve patient outcomes. In the past, leukemia, like many other cancers, was often a death sentence. But today, thanks to decades of research and medical advancements, we have a host of treatment options at our disposal. The choice of treatment largely depends on the type of leukemia, the patient's age, and overall health. Chemotherapy, the use of powerful drugs to kill cancer cells, remains a mainstay of leukemia treatment. It's often the first line of defense, especially for acute forms of leukemia. Radiation therapy, where high-energy radiation is used to damage cancer cells and inhibit their growth, is another common approach. Stem cell transplantation is a newer, more complex treatment method. It involves replacing the patient's diseased bone marrow, the birthplace of leukemia cells, with healthy stem cells from a donor. This procedure can be a lifeline for patients with certain types of leukemia. Then there's targeted therapy, a revolutionary approach that's changing the landscape of cancer treatment. Instead of attacking all rapidly dividing cells like traditional therapies, targeted therapies home in on specific genetic alterations that drive cancer growth. This specificity can lead to fewer side effects and improved patient outcomes. But the story doesn't end here. The field of leukemia research is an ever-evolving one, and new treatments are continually being developed. Immunotherapies that harness the power of the body's own immune system to fight cancer, CAR T-cell therapies that genetically engineer a patient's own T-cells to attack cancer cells, and precision medicine approaches that tailor treatment to a patient's unique genetic makeup. These are just a few examples of the groundbreaking work being done in this field. The future holds promise, with continuous research and advancements improving the prognosis for leukemia patients. Leukemia, a formidable adversary, continues to be a topic of intense research and study. This intricate medical puzzle with its various causes, symptoms, and types demands our utmost attention and understanding. With every piece we unravel, we make strides towards a more comprehensive understanding of this complex disease. We've delved into the causes, shedding light on the genetic and environmental factors that can trigger the onset of leukemia. We've explored the symptoms, highlighting the importance of early detection and intervention. We've examined the many faces of leukemia, recognizing that it's not one size fits all, but rather a spectrum of diseases with unique characteristics and challenges. And lastly, we've stepped into the world of medical advancements, where innovative treatments are making waves in the fight against leukemia. 
groundbreaking therapies are providing glimmers of hope, offering improved outcomes and quality of life for those affected. With continued research and advancements, we remain hopeful for a future where leukemia can be effectively managed if not entirely eradicated.